I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn about differentiability of a function using graph and derivatives. The equation here is, are the following functions differentiable in their domain? Explain using graph and derivatives. Three examples we are going to consider. The first one is a reciprocal function, 1 over x squared plus 1. The second one here is f of x equals to x cubed times absolute value of x. And the third one is f of x equals to absolute value of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Now, first thing, we are looking for differentiability in their domain. So, that is very important to understand in their domain. Okay. So, if a function is not differentiable at a point which is not in its domain, even then the answer should be, you know, we have to consider that part. Correct. So, let us write down domain of these functions first. So, here domain is x belongs to real numbers, right, since there are no restrictions here. Okay. In the second one also, x belongs to real numbers. There are no restrictions. Both of them are, uh, they do not have any restrictions. But here, we know that uh, x belongs to real numbers. However, x is not equal to 2. So, that is the restriction for the given function. So, we know this function is not going to be differentiable at x equals to 2 because that is not in its domain. Right? The question is, are the following functions differentiable in their domain? Right. So, you have to write yes or no. It could be in multiple choice question or true or false. So, it is kind of tricky. That is why I have taken this up. Right. Uh, we will actually talk about it in details, however, on this page, I will consider the absolute function. Right. So, let me explore uh, more absolute function here. We have two of these, correct? So, let me take the example of uh, the function f of x equals to absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2. Now, Absolute functions could be written always as a piecewise functions, correct? So, I could write this function as if the value is greater than or equal to 2, in that case it is positive, right? So, it is actually equal to positive 1 for x greater than or equal to 2 and this function is negative 1 for x less than 2, perfect? Now, if you graph this function then what happens? And you know the derivative is 0. These are constant values, correct? Um, so, let me write down here the, the derivative is 0 for both, correct? Find the derivative of this function, f dash x, what do I get? Derivative of 1 is 0, right? So, we get derivative of 0 for both, right? So, whether it is greater than or equal to 2 or it is less than 2, perfect? So, what you notice here is if I sketch the given function, right, if I sketch this given function, it will look like this. The graph of the function will be at 2, positive 1, and at, on the left side, it will be negative 1. Since we normally include greater than or equal to 2 for the positive, I filled that up. Right, so this is basically f of x. Now, if I have to sketch the graph of this derivative, so if I sketch graph of the derivative, it is going to be, it is not defined here, right? So there is, I mean, there is a jump discontinuity here, right? It is not defined at 2 since there is a jump discontinuity. However, elsewhere it is 0. Elsewhere it is 0, right? So, so what we notice here that it is not defined at 2. However, 2 is not in the domain. So, if the question is, are the following functions differentiable in their domain? Then, yes, it is. Do you get the idea? It is, right? So, so we can write here, for example, E, that absolute x minus 2 over x minus 2 is not differentiable at 
x equals to 2. However, 8 is differentiable in its entire domain. Do you understand my question? So the, the question is, in their domain, right? We are not saying in the domain of all real numbers. So that is how this question is very different. And so I took this example. So it is, if you are getting this question in true and false, the answer is true. It is differentiable in its domain, as you can see, and its derivative is zero at all the points. X equals to two is not in domain, perfect, okay? And therefore, we can say that the statement is true, right? Now let's take up the examples for uh, case A and B, and we will actually find derivatives and also sketch the graph to explain our point of view. But I hope this point is clear for the absolute function. Okay, now let's consider the graph for the function f of x equals to 1 over x squared plus 1. Now this is a reciprocal function. Most of the reciprocal functions will have some restrictions. Here, this function will be kind of like this. All right, so we're not getting into details of sketching, but you could make a table of values and you realize that at x equals to zero, it is one. So that is f of x for all values of x, correct? So that's a smooth curve. So what we see from the graph, we can conclude f of x is differentiable for all values of x, right? Now, we have to also show this using the derivatives, the rules which you have learned, right? So, so let's do the second part for it. So we have done part A from graph and now we'll use the rules let's use the rules now so we'll use quotient rule you could use a product rule also right we'll use the quotient rules to find the derivative of this function so the derivative of this function is square of the denominator which is x square plus one whole square derivative of zero one is zero so zero times anything zero times x square plus one minus one time let's say one time, derivative of this function, which is 2x. So you get derivative as minus 2x over x squared plus 1 whole square. Perfect. So denominator is positive. The numerator is positive on the left side and negative here. So what do you notice here that the derivative exists? So we see that f dash x exists for x belongs to real numbers, right? And therefore, it is differentiable in its entire domain. Perfect. So that is absolutely clear, correct? Now, uh, what I can add here is a question for you. So I'll add a question here. A sketch graph of f dash x. Right? You have this function here. Sketch graph of f dash x. Uh, so you could sketch making uh, tangent. So here tangent is 0. Do you see that? Tangent is 0. Here it is positive. It is positive. Correct? But approaching to 0. On this side, so when I say sketch, rough sketch, okay, so not much detail. And here, it is negative. Do you see that? It is negative here. So it's a very interesting graph, and it's approaching zero. So it is kind of approaching zero. So the result could be, uh, is always positive here, approaching zero. So it's somewhere, concavity changes here, right? Do you see that? So the graph could be kind of like this. So it'll go down here and then up. 
so that could be the graph of f dash x but you could try making this graph i hope that makes sense okay so that is an additional exercise for the given function a very interesting graph indeed i hope that helps let's move on and take the next example now here we have another very interesting function uh, we need to explain differentiability of f of x equals to x cubed times absolute value of x so let's rewrite this function right so uh, we could say f of x is equal to uh, now what is x absolute value of x it is always um, let me write here absolute value of x is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and minus x when x is less than 0 so that means that I could write the function as a piecewise function depending on uh, whether the domain is greater than 0 or less than 0 perfect so it could be written as x to the power of 4 when x is greater than or equal to 0 but it could be written also as minus of x to the power of 4 when x is less than 0 does it make sense since that is how absolute value of x is defined is that clear correct now that is the function so if I have to sketch this function how do I sketch it so let's sketch this function right so it is x to the power of 4 when x is greater than 0 so I could sketch it kind of like this let's do it here so on the right side of y axis it is like a parabola but flattened right here x to the power of 4 on the left side it is kind of like this so that becomes the function f of x do you see that now what results here is a smooth curve and that means it is differentiable right for x belonging to real numbers is it okay so clearly we can see that the function is differentiable is it okay so that's what it is now let's find the derivative using the rules so the derivative of this function will be 4x cubed for x greater than or equal to 0 and on this side it will be minus because this is minus 4x cubed for x less than 0 how about derivative at 0 it could be different at 0 right so let's find the derivative at 0 what do we get so if I substitute 0 here from both the sides we get 0 do you see that derivative at 0 is a horizontal line right so it is 0 for x greater than or equal to 0 uh, uh, I should say for x equals to 0 is it okay so so it is 0 but if you approach from the negative side so if you approach from let's say 0 uh, from minus side right even then it is 0 right so x less than 0 also it is 0 when x approaches 0 from the left side so I'm writing plus and minus here just to be clear about our convention that the limit uh, you know the differentiability equation could also be given by the form of a limit as we started with right so we could say f dash x in general is is the limit where h approaches 0 for the function a plus h minus f of a over h correct so here we are looking at a equals to 0 so the limit we see approaches 0 from both the sides so we do have a horizontal tangent right so do you see that part so we have a horizontal tangent at x equals to 0 so so what you notice here is that it is differentiable correct therefore the f of x is differentiable in entire domain x belongs to real numbers is that true so that is how we actually can show it using graph as well as the derivative so we use power rule uh, to find the derivative of this particular function so I hope the concept is clear so with this particular 
a set of examples, you understand that at times a function may be made up of uh, units which are not differentiable, but when we have a composite function, it could be differentiable. So this is also an example. So it is also an example of composite function. being differentiable. I hope you understand. Absolute value of x is not differentiable on its own, perfect, but when it is combined with x cube or any other polynomial with odd degree, it becomes a differentiable function. So I hope uh, you understand that point. So that's the whole idea. So feel free to write your comments and uh, your suggestions. Uh, if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.